Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm Ryan Haywood. If you thought day one DLC was bad before, wait till you hear about the day one DLC that costs more than the actual game. Uh, in what has to be some of the weirdest downloadable content of all time, the newly released Gal Gun Double Piece for the PS4 and the PS Vita comes with $90 DLC. Gal Gun Double Piece, for those of you who don't know, which is basically everybody except Caden. It's a sequel to the 2011 game Galgun by Inti Creates. Galgun was an on-rails shooter which involves shooting girls with pheromones, House of the Dead style, until they faint, because that's how pheromones work. Uh, the ESRB describes the M-rated double piece fairly colorfully, stating that its interactive scenes often depict female characters wearing revealing outfits, e.g. lingerie, in sexually suggestive positions, e.g. stuck in windows, arched on the ground, restrained by a tentacle monster. Of course there's a tentacle monster. Mm. Uh, the description goes on to say, players can activate a Doki Doki mode in which a 360 degree <gasps> view of female characters is depicted. Uh, players attempt to bring characters clothed into a state of euphoria by using a cursor to click on various body parts like the face or the legs or the chest. Sexual moaning sounds can sometimes be heard. This is the ESRB this, description. This this <laughs> is there's a governing body that had to write <laughs> that description. Yes. And you furiously click upon the labia <laughs> until the woman <laughs> explodes with happiness. Here's the here's M rated. The, the the best part about that, someone probably volunteered. <sighs> yeah. So of course a game like this needs Hey, ninety dollar DLC, presumably to add you know all kinds of new sexual innuendos, escapades, maybe moaning wave files, right? Or you know perhaps it, it there's like bent over a couch. It didn't maybe have enough. We need more. Reclined on the wall. They need to be stuck in more windows. <laughs> um, Lion pose. <laughs> Actually, though, the ninety dollar pheromone Z DLC clocks in at a fairly <clears throat> girthy disk space. Uh, it occupies an entire megabyte on your oh. PS4's drive space. So when I said girth, I actually meant micro space. If they tell you it's average size, they lied. Uh, and that's because it's just an in-game item that allows you to instantly see through women's clothing. For $90. Because Lord knows you don't want to have to grind your way to that point. Well, that's a certain type of grinding. Uh, these mm. people know you can like watch all the naked people you want for free on the internet, right? Like real people, like not made out of polygons. That's one of the first things they added to the internet. That yeah, was like but the day one patch. When you click on those a bunch, it just pauses and unpauses the <laughs> video. It doesn't work quite as well. Here's the thing, you just have to get a non-touch screen and then just tap, tap, tap. Hear that moaning? That's me, I'm doing that. Uh, if you're thinking that this super expensive DLC is probably nothing more than just a pricing error, well, you'd be wrong on that count. But bless you for oh, your naivete. Your sweet, naive heart. Uh, that's the same price of the DLC on the Japanese version of the PSN store and has been in effect since it came out in Japan last year. But hey, if you feel like blasting ladies with your pheromones, and who wouldn't, uh, but you're not sure about dropping $90 on the Pheromones DLC, they do have other options for you. They are aware though that Pheromones it does not that it doesn't work mean like the same that. as X-ray vision. I'm not sure they're aware of it's that. It's the I'm the Superman DLC. Oh, if they would call it Superman DLC, it may have been worth $90. Absolutely, there you go. Everything's fixed. I rebranded it for you. Uh, for the much lower price of $9.99, you can choose from two DLC packs, one of which enlarges all the breasts in the games, lest the developer be accused of sexism. The other pack will shrink all the breasts. I don't think that's how sexism works. Uh, after hearing these ringing endorsements, <laughs> you're no doubt just dying to check out the game's special edition, AKA the Mr. Happiness Edition. Fortunately for you, uh, Greg Miller of our friends at Kinda Funny has already deboxinated it. Is that a, is that a verb? It is now. Okay. Uh, apparently the Mr. Happiness Edition of Gal Gun Double Piece comes with a screen cleaner shaped like women's panties. That's great. I've been <sighs> meaning to go underwear shopping. This is clearly a cost effective way to do that. I mean, and you probably will need to clean your screen a few times, right? It's loose. Uh, all of this clearly dull content makes the game's ESRB rating even more hilarious, or at least what it claims its ESRB rating is. Given that description, even though it's clearly rated M for mature on the front of the box, the back tells a different story. 
as is always the case. Yeah, somewhere somebody must have seriously fucked up because the back of Gal Gun claims that it's rated E for everyone. Because if sex was limited to just the mature people, we wouldn't have more babies. <laughs> uh, and the reason for that family friendly rating? Sexual content. Bravo, guys. Yeah, okay, Bravo. that's, yeah, it's, well, you know, it's different people have different standards. It's okay, you know, certain, it, while looking at the DLC might make most gamers bulk at first glance, it's pretty clear we're dealing with a game that knows exactly what it is. And its audience probably knows what to expect from the developers as well. Look, more than likely, this probably isn't something the developers seriously expect people to buy after all the totally sweet boob DLC packs are priced much more reasonably, but again, you never really know when it comes to video game add-ons because we've seen weird stuff before. $9.99 for bigger or smaller no, boobs? No, you, you have to pay like $10 for each, so all up, $20? it's 20 bucks. 20 bucks and you can have whatever size boobs so you want. So if I'm having like a triple E day, but I decide I need a double A day, it's 10 more bucks. Well, $90 is a hefty price tag, but it's by no means the most expensive DLC around. You'd be surprised at the price of some DLC once you add it all up. Sims 3, for instance, has a whopping $380 of DLC when everything's all said and done, and none of it makes boobs bigger or smaller. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rocksmith 2014 allows fans to purchase more than 600 total songs to add to their collection. At a few bucks a piece, those amount to somewhere around $2,700. But hey, with a complete collection, you'll have hits like Papa Roach's Getting Away With Murder and Linkin Park's In The End. But if you play them well enough, they might make women's shirts disappear. And then you can have what any size of boobs you want for free, no, or twenty seven hundred dollars. I assume you have to actually learn the guitar for real. Uh, yeah, and that's going where Rocksmith is, right? Yeah. Uh, in terms of other crazily over overpriced DLC, Train Simulator twenty sixteen, my and, favorite game. Yes, no, clearly everyone's favorite game, and every year for that matter, offers a shit ton of expensive DLC, usually in the form of like trains to add to your set. In total, Train Simulator two thousand sixteen has over two hundred and eighty pieces of DLC, adding up to nearly six. <laughs> thousand dollars, which is pure insanity. I don't care how much you like trains. Absolutely no one should show this to my son or I'll be bankrupt tomorrow. <laughs> That's a problem. Ugh. The most absurdly priced DLC ever has to be the very expensive diamond chisel for Peter Molyneux's curiosity. What's inside the cube? Oh, I remember that. The chisel, if you don't recall, helped players waste their lives away even faster by tapping on the cube. It cost three billion in-game <sighs> coins, which had a real-world value of about $50,000 in real-world money. All right, now, I'm not an economist, but I'm pretty sure you could go to the jewelry store and get a legit buttload of actual diamonds for $50,000. Uh, metric or imperial buttload? I mean, it depends on if you're coming from Africa or South America. Oh, of course it does. Uh, sadly, even if you bought one of those to help you win the game, you still would have never gotten your prize. <laughs> the winner of Curiosity, Brian Henderson, never got the 10% of revenue promised to him from a goddess. However, the Bulletproof Bit Indie Bundle did raise $10,000 for him earlier this year. So look, there, it all worked out. Uh, clearly, the message here is don't buy ridiculously priced DLC, kids. Uh, it never goes well for anybody. Unless you just really got to see those ladies naked before you pheromone blast them. I hear that helps sometimes. I mean, this, okay, look, as you get older, sometimes you have to work up the pheromones. It takes a little time to get in the right, and then you have to activate the other DLC so that... Uh, well, what do you guys think of Galgun Double Pieces Ridiculous Day 1 DLC? Let us know in the comments. And for future updates on pricey pheromone blasting, like this video and subscribe to The Know. What's happening? Did someone pay ten dollars? Uh, see, I was thinking that is like your heart growing two sizes. Yeah, you're it's, a I mean, but okay, now wait. I realize what that go. is. Here we go. There we go. That's now they're more, more like it. That's like it. Ah! We got ten dollars worth of DLC for free. I'm clicking so fast. Uh. I'm clicking. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Wow.